Uh, the most influential woman in my footballing life would have to be my wife. Um, she's been extremely supportive um, of me and my career. Obviously, moving from Newcastle to come to a new country was a, a, a big sacrifice for her. So, you know, in footballers, we sacrifice a lot, but also the partners and wives sacrifice a lot. And, and my wife has done that and raised three young girls basically on her own over here. So, um, yeah, she's definitely my, my rock. Uh, my favourite female footballer would have to be Sarah Gregorius, um, Kiwi talent, uh, superstar over here and um, you know, she does great things for the game both on and off the pitch so she's definitely a favourite. The thing I enjoy most about the Westfield W League is the fact that there is a league and women get to um, you know, playing in, in a professional environment, in, in front of crowds at good stadiums, um, obviously having three young girls and maybe they'll go down that path one day to have a pathway for them uh, and other young young girls that, that want to be involved in football. So look, I think that's the, the best thing uh, about the league, that it, it's a great pathway now for, for girls and women to, to aspire to become professional. I think the Rebel Female Football Round is, you know, extremely important to, um, you know, obviously get the awareness out there for the women's game, um, you know, the equal rights and, and everything that goes along with that. You know, obviously as men we get, um, you know, a lot of exposure uh, in the media and, and sponsorships and stuff, but uh, it's also equally important that the women are out there, televised games, um, you know, in a professional environment. So yeah, it's, it's great um, that there is a women's league and, and it's important that we uh, focus on that and um, you know, help young aspiring uh, girls and, and women to, to try and reach their goal of being professional.